So, elementary Greek 101, here we go, this is the very beginning, so we're going to jump right in with a definite article. Definite article lets you know what it is, so if we've got masculine, feminine, or neuter, and if it's singular or plural, and in what case it is, so you've got noun, and genitive, dative, accusative, and they let you know what is going on. So, jumping right in, we've got masculine, ho to, to tone, hoi tone, toys, toos. Feminine, we've got hey, taste, tay, tain, high tone, tice, tas. Neuter, we've got to, 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 and ta, tone, ta, ta tone, toys, ta. These all have to agree with the nouns they're um, working with. So, they have to agree in gender, case, and number. So, if the noun is masculine, so too does the definite article have to be. Same with case and number. Uh, so, an example is ho rapso those by me. The rapso goes. Singular, 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 and it's masculine. You can tell because it uses ho. And then another example is hoi now type by Newson. The sailors go plural, 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 and you can tell that it's masculine because of the uh, definite article. Moving right along, we've got adjectives. These are ending in os, a, and on. A good example is kalos, beautiful. Um, so jumping right in, it's the same uh, cases. So we've got nominative, genitive, dative, accusative. And you also have vocative, which is just when you're like, hey, do you? Um, so jumping right in, it's os, u, o, on, uh, and vocative is a. And then oi, own, ois, us. And then a, a's, a, ain, i, own, ice, os. And then for neuter, we've got on, u, o, on, a, own, ois, a. And something that's really convenient to note is that the genitive and dative cases for nominative are exactly the same as they are for masculine. So it's something that A can be really helpful and B can be pretty confusing. So just make sure you're careful to look for the nominative in every case. All right, moving right along, we have our basic present active indicative verbs. That's things that are happening right now, actively, and I'm telling you exactly what's happening in reality. So jumping right in, we've got for singular, first person is O, second person is ace, and third person is A, plural, omen, eta, usin. So this is just saying, I do something, you do something, she does something, we do something, y'all do something, they do something. Moving right along, we've got our imperative, which is super important if you're learning a language, because you have to be able to tell people what to do. So in present active indicative, super easy. For singular, you add an epsilon at the end. So instead of by no, I go, or by nays, you go, it's by ne, go. And for plural, it's by nete, y'all go. And finally, this brings me to the end of this video, which is contracts. Though this chart looks super confusing, it's really simple and user friendly. So horao doesn't end in a new uh, or in a consonant like bino does. Um, so you have to contract it. So it ends in alpha. And if you're trying to find the first person singular of horao, um, you will go to alpha and then go to omega. And look at that. Your first person singular is horo. Thank you for watching.